Oh, here we are making of. I'm not playing anything now. I gotta tell you what happened, but before I tell you what happened, let me. Well, I'm, I can tell you about what happened. It's the making of, so you know what happens. It's like a. a we tell you all the end. We go from the beginning. We just turn the camera on. Yeah, but yesterday, just some, the, the program that I use for this, not the program, after I record, I don't put it right on YouTube. What I do is I compress it. Thing, I, I, I compress. I have a pre compression program on this here. I can add a compression program. This, but I put the compression program. I used, tried to use it yesterday, and it didn't work. So I, I posted up on, I, on the YouTube without the compression. I don't know what's going on. I might have to get another computer. Well, it's free, but I wanted to pay. Here's the other thing. I want to pay for this one because it's one I use a lot. But, you know, I got to pay in rands. That's a little strange, strange story. Anyway, I want to get a U.S. compression program. I have to figure out what I'm going to do. It seems to be, should be easy to do, whatever. Okay, so the first thing, let me let me look. Did I take this thing off? Yeah, it's off. Uh, I take that off, too. Um, so let's look at how much I walk. You're going to be shocked. It may not be. Here it is. I walked 5,986 steps. I said, wait, brother, that's 4.01 kilometers. And let's see how 4.01 kilometers, what that is. Uh, where's my thing at? Oh, 4.01 kilometers. I got to come out here, go here, uh, put uh, the 4. 4.01 uh, kilometers, K-I-L-O-M, kilometers into miles, yeah, right there. I walk 2.4, two and a half miles. Say, but brother, don't you usually walk like five miles, five to 10 miles? Well, five miles during the week, then on the weekends it goes up to like, uh, eight or nine, then finally on Sunday goes to 10. What happened? Well, let me tell you what happened. Say how the universe works. <laughs> so, so I get out here and I checked, I checked the weather. It's not it's supposed to rain tomorrow's thunderstorms. So tomorrow's like a day off, I guess. Right. So I said, okay, well, you know, let me, let me go ahead. But I had this, this thing, or I had mailed it already. I had this thing to mail a survey because I'm part of this million something survey, some, you know, whatever program. That's how I got my, well, I knew my DNA before they, I got it officially, you know, where I'm from and all that stuff, right? Okay, so, so then, so I'm ready. Uh, I, so I, got, I, 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 I start walking, and you know, then I said, okay, well, look, for some reason, I just said, oh, I have this whole thing with my back and scoliosis. I don't know what the heck it is, you know. What I mean, I got, I have to read it sometime to you, right? My back. So I, when I'm walking, for I start like that, but then when I start walking, eventually, then then I do all this stretching. I do all this stretching or do all, my, all throughout my little, you know, two hours, two and a half hours, three hours that I take walking, right? Okay. So what happened is, uh, well, what had happened <laughs> is that, uh, so I said, well, I'm just going to walk because I had this thing to mail. And I saw this mailbox at the graveyard. It was white. I was like, oh, yeah. So I'm, I'm walking, I'm walking, walking. And then when I get to the graveyard, I keep on saying graveyard, it's a cemetery. I like to say graveyard. When I get to the cemetery, cemetery uh, it starts to like miss drizzle a little bit. I said, "Ooh, maybe I shouldn't be out here." So I walk straight to the thing, and it's not a mailbox. You you, you can put your old flags and stuff like that in there so they can decorate the thing. And it's something for the thing, so it's not a mailbox. So I said, "But it starts to you know just a little tiny 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 drizzle." Now don't worry, about it. but I, but I had the the paper there, you know what I mean? So, so I said, well, let me just cut this short. Let me get back. Because I was doing my regular, I wasn't walking backwards. I wasn't doing any of my regular stretching things. So I walked back. And when I was coming back through, my sister was coming out with a box or whatever. I said, was, uh, I said blah, blah, blah. And uh, she, she wanted to do something. I wanted to show her something. And so I went, I wasn't really thinking because I was going to, just still had this mail thing in my thing. So she wanted to, anyway, we had we went and did something to make it whatever, whatever. And then I, I said, well, you know, I got to find a mailbox. She says, oh, they don't have any mailboxes anymore. I said, what? You know, so I had to go to the post office and put in the, you know how they have the, the post office is closed, but they always have that thing where you can go and get, because you have post office box, you go anytime and look for your post office box, right? So that's the mail slice, so I put it in there. So I found out a bunch of things. One, we don't have the, in Chesapeake, 
for whatever this air, Chesapeake, Portsmouth, the, 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 whatever, the, the, the Hampton Roads, whatever, ain't no mailboxes. I, you know, and even the mailbox outside the post office is taped up. They have the, the slot there is taped up, so you can't put. I guess this COVID thing done changed everything. Anyway, so I, all I'm trying to say is, uh, well, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say things work the way they're supposed to work in my life, you know. And at the, in my theory, I have a theory. The more you are righteous, the more righteous stuff happens to you. The more you are in the in the, in, in the spirit, you walk in, in the we walk by faith, <laughs> then stuff happens. Because it happened the way it's supposed to happen. The person needs to talk about says, okay, let me, before I do this, come make it short, actually. Um, oh, by the way, so I did, um, I played my Nina, that Nina that I like. Uh, um, here comes the snow, whatever, here comes the sun. That, that, that really cut that I like. I got it on here, I should, I won't. Do it. And then I played Marvin, but I played the walking Marvin. I use uh, uh, I want, I want, whatever that one is. Then I played, um, I played, uh, what's the name, uh, Love Woke Me Up This Morning, as usual. Then I played Spirit, and then I, uh, Liquid Spirit. Then I played this thing from the, the Orchestra Luna that I really like. And then I said, oh, uh, just before it started to drizzle, I said, oh, let me play E2, E4, Manuel Gotch thing, right? I said, hi, that's an hour, right? Well, 59 minutes, whatever, 58 minutes. So, that's what I was. That's what I was playing when I was get getting into the cemetery. It started to rain. Okay, here's what I do in the morning, by the way. And I didn't do this before I left either. See, this is L L O aloe vera juice. Inner fillet. I don't know what that means. Preservative free, right? So what I do, I have my little glass here. I put a little bit of aloe juice in there. About that much. They tell you. Drink one to two ounces per serving, up to eight ounce daily. I just do it once in the morning. I'm not really. In. Plus, you know, that's a lot of money. Um, then again, pharmaceuticals is a lot of money. Then I take my coconut water and I put about half of that in there. You see? You put a little bit more like that. Okay? Then. So this is so in the morning. So when I have, well, I haven't put it. I have my zinc tablet, uh, uh, serpeptase, and some, Oh, and um, and um, uh, the one that, that Donald Trump said you. No, he didn't say that. He said you should drink bleach to whatever. Well, he didn't say you should drink bleach. They interpret it like that. Apple cider vinegar because that's the apple cider vinegar is like bleaching your insides. That's what they should have been said. But I won't get into all that stuff. So this is what I drink in the morning with that. You know? Get my aloe vera juice. It sort of messes the coconut water taste up, but I don't figure I'm doing medicine in the morning. Man. So that goes like that. So here I'm listening to, to E2, E4, and then I thought, I was thinking, hey, one of the, I, I said, this, 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 a, there was a club in New York I guess it still exists, called The Shelter. Well, at the time, it was called The Shelter. Then they had to move from where they was in the Tribeca area. And then, you know, the, the whole uh, uh, Robert De Niro mob down there didn't like black people being down there, right? So they sort of shut that club down. That's because, and I tell people this before, if you're in a community, whatever you're going to do, you have to be involved in the community. You got to go to those board meetings. You got to go to those, those community little meetings, whatever, have be seen because you will see some little old person in the corner, they'll be complaining. There'll be, be, be five people in the meeting. They, they complain. They're heard because it's an official meeting. And so whatever they want to do, doesn't have to be the, the, it's not the majority rules. It's who, the, the loudest mouth rules, right? So if you're going to go into a new community, the first thing you do is you have to join some sort of civic, do the civic thing, right? Even if you got to get up every Saturday morning, pick up trash, people see you picking up trash, or see you a good citizen, something, I don't know. But I digress. So anyway, so, uh, so now, now they call it club shelter. Anyway, it's a shelter. It used to be Ariel down there on Hubert Street. I can't explain to you. But it's, it was, it's this direct descendant. There's, a, there's this descendant of like uh, the gallery and the loft became, well, those, those kind of clientele, right, went to create Paradise Garage, right? And then Paradise Garage, you know, when that closed, then basically the shelter is like the child of Paradise Garage or the grandchild of loft and 
in the gallery if you if, if you want to. For all you house heads, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it means you don't know house music, and it's all right. <laughs> oh, there's a great film, the great documentary out called uh, Maestro, that tells you all about house music. It's good. Get the get this DVD, the double, double box set, whatever the double double double, double thing there because they have a um, uh, Mancuso bunch of engineers are telling you about the history and they tell you all kinds of things that you if you're a DJ you have the habit I'm just telling you as a former music director of a big time radio station I'm just trying to tell you listen to the brother people don't want to listen to the brother and that's fine that's all right but there's certain things I know listen to me if you're a budding DJ there's a thing called maestro get it not for the well, you get it from the documentary, but the, the extras in there, they have some engineers back in the day and how the sound works and all this and stuff, and it's good for you. Okay. Anyway, so 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 one May 19th, to be exact, it was happened to be a Saturday into Sunday, uh, we won dance floor dancer to Manuel Gostin, because remember, house, house at some particular point, I guess really in, in, in the 90s, it started to take some techno techno things on, you know, some techno, because House is born out of really, if you want to say disco, but, but you know, R&B, disco, uh, uh, church, of course, you know, gospel, whatever, a lot of gospel singers, whatever. And then, and then, so, so this techno came in, and, and Manuel Gostin is this German guy, right? You, you, when you know, when you hear the cut, you know exactly what, what, what we're talking about. I should play some, some bars for you. Oh, maybe I do that. Maybe I can do that. Let, let's see. Oh, here, I got it right here. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. I don't want to be. That's that's what the that's what and it's like. It's like how much? Fifty eight forty. So it's fifty eight minutes of forty seconds of that kind of thing. And there's a whole it's a whole thing, right? But so he so so Timmy registered the DJ. He was playing that, and then all of us over it. He put played Malcolm X because Malcolm's birthday. The 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 famous uh, speech, the ballot or the bullet. So here you are dancing house music on the dance floor to Malcolm X. Now, brother, why did you pick? Why did you? Why did you bring that? Oh, fact. Let me stop right there. I'll continue on the Instagram because you know this is the making up. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll continue. But before I do that, um, I had, as I told you before, because of voting happened last this Tuesday, I had bought the, the newspaper down here, and uh, so I'm bought, I'm buying a newspaper, and I said, well, how much is the newspaper? Newspaper is four dollars and fifty cents. Wow! This is Sunday, so I think I'm buy every Sunday paper because stuff happens. But but I did find aside from the voting information, there's a thing called Jacob Lawrence. You know, the uh, in in Marimba in, in the Marimba Marabar Mar Mabari Club Mabari Club Black Orvis Jacob Lawrence in the Mabari Club, and so in other words, it down at the Christ of Museum of Art in Norfolk, Virginia, arms you through January 8th, 2023, admission free. So maybe it's just this one pity. But anyway, so I'm going to go down to this Christ thing. I'm going to see this thing because I got this information from the newspaper. Ah, the newspapers, right? So I just wanted to tell you that. So sooner or later, I got to get down to Norfolk. I should do it today because it looks like it is going to rain. It's, it's going to be storming tomorrow. So I, tomorrow I'll be sheltered. <laughs> The storm! Oh my gosh! Oh, the storm! We're we're, we're in Virginia. You know. Storm! Storm! I don't care. <laughs> okay, let's start. Now that I've ended, I gotta do what I'm gonna say. Do what I'm gonna do. Do 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 do. I know what I'm gonna do. This this came. To, I almost did an I almost did an Instagram last night because uh, because of my thoughts of, of this was happening. Oh, what's this? Somebody, oh, oh, that's what's the name, okay. Okay. Oh, no, it's not right. Come back here. Can't do that, can't do that. Can go live, okay. Ya para boom boom. Cha ta ta, cha ta ta. You caught me in the middle of a chidata. Oh, me being T from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet. That's me. Instagram, it's me. You know me. Okay, you know me by now. Okay, look, real quick. 
I, I actually do mean it this time. Look, I was uh, 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 I had a whole bunch of stuff happen this morning, so I didn't do my regular exercise thing. I only only walk like you know two and a half miles or something like that. I was short, 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 because had some some other stuff to do. Anyway, but one of the things I did, I was playing the Manuel uh, uh E two E four. It's this techno kind of techno house, you know, with the for us house kitties, you know, when you want to dance to house music, you can use this thing. Anyway, anyway, the point being that uh, uh, one year, uh, uh, May 19th of that year, um, uh, from the, uh, well, the shelter, the, the club, the shelter, the club shelter, they call it now shelter, house club. It comes out of the tradition of, of, of Paradise Garage and, you know, the gallery and, and you know, the loft, that kind of tradition, that kind of house kitties kind of tradition. Anyway, so one time they was playing E2E4, it's a 58 minute, you know, 40 second cut, right? And so, you know, everybody's grooving to it. And then all of a sudden the DJ, DJ uh, uh, Timmy Register, he lays over Malcolm X, the ballot or the bullet. Profound, it was really profound. Then I got to think, see back when I first started um, being in radio in the, in, in, in the, in the 70s, well, I guess I'm 50 years in radio. I lasted 50 years in radio. Anyway, so, 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 uh, uh, um, 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 so, anyway, so, so we're, 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 we're dancing to, to Malcolm. But when I first started, it was interesting because the way that music was on any album, you can get a socially conscious thing, a political thing, and then your regular dance thing. Nowadays, you just have, I don't know, violence. I don't know what they have. I don't, I, don't, I can't, li I don't. Well, I shouldn't say that. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what the music scene is now. Let me put it that way. But when I would say this, uh, there's not a whole lot of uh, stuff that 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 uplifting or whatever it is, whatever you want want to call it. You know. So I'm just asking for like, if you have an album, sixteen album cut. In fact, I heard Charleston Charleston White said the same thing. Let me say something. When I say stuff. I'm not looking for no accolades or whatever have you. I don't care as long as it gets out there. As long as it gets out there. I don't care who is repeating it, taking credit for it. As long as the ideas get out there. That's the most important point. So anyway, so 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 back in the day, even shorter days than the days, right, they had a situation where you can, you know, you could get a politically motivated club. Like there was one... Um, um, uh, to give you an example, um, Patti LaBelle had this album called In the Spirit, I think it is, right? Yeah, In the Spirit, I, I believe it was, it's the Patti LaBelle album, right? Now, she's not noted for no political, political but at this this particular album, she had one cut. I was looking for it because I was doing a mix, because I'm, I'm a radio man. I used to do these mixes that were like amazing mixes. Whoa. I'm the mix master, you know. You think you got mix master, they in the little thing. Man, I do stuff on the fly. It was really, anyway, back to the point. Just enough about me. But I was looking for this cut because about lynching. No, about, no, police violence. It was police violence was the topic, right? And I knew this song, I knew this song, and I finally found it. It was Pilot Bell. There was this, there's this uh, cut, and, and, and I don't know if they name the name of the song, but the cut is called Shoot Em On Sight. And we did it about police, but the, but the name of the cut she's singing, Shoot Em On Sight. It's like, it's profound. But these days, you cannot find a socially conscious thing. You can't find whatever, you can't find these things. They're all pushing the same thing, you know, kill, slash, you know, rape, uh, uh, kidnap. I, I don't know what they, look, I don't know. Maybe maybe they're not saying that. All I'm trying to say is there's this problem. We have problems in the, in the greater culture, right? And like I said, I don't, I don't need to say anything because there's other people who are saying stuff. But here's the thing that really got to me. <laughs> You have somebody like Kyrie, you know, who's doing right, and then all these all these Negro peers jump on this brother. Oh no, it's on now. Oh, oh, we got to come. We we come now. You take somebody like LeBron James coming down on Kyrie, say he's a, people calling him an idiot or whatever have you. But LeBron James, LeBron, LeBron, Le, the who did what? What are you talking about, Negro? You little Negro, I said little, you little Negro peeing, pissing me off. This is a real brother. Kyrie Irving is a real brother. And now we can find out who, 
we, I'm talking about brothers. Forget the sisters. I mean, I don't want to hear that. That 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 uh, what what Vince what what's that guy Stephen A's woman Molly talk, talking smack about this stuff. The women stay out of it. This is a man. This is a black man's business. Okay, even white men just stay out. This is black man's business. We got they they sending black men to try to you know I saw a nice meme but, you know, to, to to lynch a black man by by the basketball net and all the other basketball players walking away. They're like, oh, we, we don't see nothing. We, 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 we don't see nothing. You know? Nah, nah. This ain't going down the way they think it's going to go down. No, nah, I'm I'm on team. I'm on team justice. That's what I'm talking about. So here's what really bothers me. This same LeBron James, the same whatever it is, just saying when when they when the basketball player was going to strike because of George whatever they was going to strike for you know what I mean you know he goes and they want advice from an, an elder who what elder are you talking about you got to choose your elders they want advice from somebody and who would they go to Barack Obama B O bad odor oh bad odor man bad Hussein odor. That's who they went to. And what did he say? No, no, no. Just, just you, you, you don't, don't sit down. I want you, you should play. You shouldn't sit down. You should play. What, what, what LeBron and all them other people didn't say, I'll call them idiots because they didn't do the research. Is that they didn't know, but all them white people, they had, they have, they have Obama by the short hairs and they want to make up, they want to, they, they're doing it now, make a, an African basketball league, and he's the face of it. So he's telling these, he's telling these brothers to sit down and not strike, right? Meanwhile, he's forming a league that's going to replace them. You didn't see that, LeBron? You, you didn't see that? Shaq didn't see that? The general didn't see that? Oh man, you all just pissing me off, right? And then I'm not even gonna go into a whole thing about who does but with this whole this whole dust up. It is a dust up because these people are not serious, okay? They just they, look. I don't like to agree with white girls, but sometimes you know, you, yeah, you just you just shut up and, and bounce the ball. If you don't have no sense, just shut up and bounce the ball. If you're gonna follow behind some white man, shut up and bounce the ball. <laughs> but hey, you know. Corey had a good thing, man, because he, because, because Kyrie didn't take the shot, right? A lot of people being sued for, because they were missing their work because of whatever happened. But he has a suit. He could have a suit against the Nets for so them preventing him from playing. You know what I mean? Because of the shot like that. But here's the other thing. This is this is what's most telling, right? Here's what I understand. And you could tell these guys are in cahoots. I'm talking about the, the the owners and stuff like that. Right now, think about it. These people are like, I'm staying with LeBron. He's saying, yeah, to Kyrie this and Kyrie that. But uh, Kyrie and, and Kyrie, oh, we, uh, wait, till, wait till my son get in there. He's going to really show everybody how to play basketball. I don't want to hear that. You know why I don't want to hear that? Because you cheating. The fix is in. What you said, what kind of, brother, what are, you, what are you ranting about? What kind of fix are you talking about? If Kyrie can't play for the Nets and LeBron can play for the Lakers... And he's saying, oh, yeah, Kyrie is wrong. You should get what he what it is. Isn't he fixing the game? Because he's taking a player out on some BS, on some bad odor, on some... On some you understand what I'm saying? So Kyrie needs to get his money for them suspending him. And all these basketball needs to shut up because you can't, because what you're doing, all you're doing is trying to get your competition to not play. You want to play against them. Okay. I done went off. I'm going to stop now. I'm going to let y'all go. You know, the brother gun got emotion now. So, <sighs> these people have no idea. Keep on going, Kyrie. We with you, man. The real blood, the real blood, the blood of the blood, the, the sons of the real soil. We with you, okay? Those other people, those Negro PMs, those people that dance some other tune, those people, those people that, that jump out of airplanes, you know, uh, uh, with, with white man on his back, whatever have you, we ain't them. Y'all take care. Be well. See you. Oh man, I'm really, you have no idea how upset I am. I'm, I'm not even a basketball person, you know what I mean? I ain't watching some basketball. I'm back, I'm back there with Clyde Frazier, you know, Dr. J. 
that's my era, you know. We, then we went to school. That Nate Archer, the, the, the tiny Nate Archer, he 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 went to my junior. He was on the basketball. We was the same same age, same basketball team. And then, uh, uh, oh. Oh, and Kareem, same thing. Old Negro, old Negro. Sooner or later comes an old Negro, old Negro. Kareem Abdul. Yeah, you remember when you remember when you was you, you, that's right when you was Lou Alcindor playing in the Patterson Project. Well, I'm yanking your Patterson Project uh, bona fides out of there. You know, get it off your resume. Oh, sorry, I'm still I'm still going crazy on that. I said, I'm just going to put the brother. Uh, Supports S U T P O uh, supports I didn't say team Kyrie I just, so I don't want to say team supports the brother the brother should I say Kyrie? For plus the the I'm gonna say basketball brother. No, I won't say basketball, but I wanna reduce it like that. Reports reports the the Brother, let me see something. Let me see something. Yeah. Um, oh, I know it. Supports the righteous. I spell righteous. It's not how you spell righteous. The righteous basketball. The righteous sports brothers supports righteousness. Ah, the brother supports righteousness. That's what I'm going to put. The brother supports. My R. 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 G. H. O. U. S. N. E. S. S. How am I not, how am I not spelling this right? The bad sports right supports righteousness. I hope I'm spelling all this stuff right. The brother supports righteousness. Let's leave it at that. Western Brank. Yeah. Series in the morning. Taking a long time to do this thing out, man. I'm being a little bit too detailed, I think, in the morning. These are morning thoughts. Okay. And I'll explain it some other time. Share. That's out. Okay. And I'll do all this stuff. Hopefully, this I'll I'll put all this to Kyrie. No, maybe I should link to. Uh, nah, I'll, I'll I'll figure something out. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna let y'all go. Oh, and uh, I do not apologize. Unlike, but I ain't apologizing for nothing. That's the way we brothers are these days. You know what I mean? You know, you send, send who you will. Send send women. Send you know other send religions. Send um, billionaires, send whoever you want. Righteousness is righteousness, and righteousness shall win out. Just let me know.